Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how I groom and care for my eyebrows and also how I fill them in and how I style them. Um, I got a lot of um, questions regarding eyebrows and um, I've been actually putting off doing this video because eyebrows are a different um, entity in makeup because it's a different form of expression for different types of people. There are some people who likes overdrawing them, there are some people who likes filling them in, and there are just some people who likes um, keeping it very very natural and um, for me with my philosophy is that I like to keep my eyebrows as natural as possible and this also reflects in my work because mainly I work with a lot of actresses and I look I work with film and television so um, this doesn't really give me a lot of opportunity to play with eyebrows because I make sure that I don't alter the eyebrow shape of the actress that I'm working with because sometimes when you're watching them and you see that their eyebrows are uh, overfilled or overdrawn, that actually gets your attention and you know, you, lo you lose focus on the story of the film or the TV series that you're watching. So um, that's why for me, when I am doing eyebrows, I just make sure that balance is the key uh, without overdoing them. Okay, so for my eyebrows, um, I have to say that it took me a while to get to this shape that I have now, um, mainly because um, for a certain number of reasons. Um, one is because one of my eyebrows is higher than the other. Um, this is but natural because that's how we are divided um, as embryos inside the womb. So our faces will never be um, the same. One part is going to be slightly different from the other and that is fine. And also one other thing is that I have a scar here. Now, I got this as a child. Um, I can't remember the exact time that this happened, but I have been told that I was doing somersaults on top of my grandmother's bed, and I hit her headboard, and I um, ripped my eyebrows apart. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, because of that, um, it has altered um, the shape of my eyebrows a teeny tiny bit, and it has also created a different lift for this eyebrow so but then again you know i have already accepted this fact that my eyebrows will never be the same and this scar is actually my trademark now um i've had it since as long as i can remember and, and this is part of who i am so my first step when i'm grooming my eyebrows is that i trim any excess hair because i have very very bushy eyebrows um even to the point that i have a lot of growth here and it also goes all the way down here now the reason why i remove all the excess hair is because i just want to create a lift with my eyes because if i just left all of my eyebrows hairs growing down here it's gonna make my eyes look um, much more sleepier and downturned so I wouldn't want that. What I did initially is that I actually took a cream colored eye pencil and I actually used this to create the shape that I wanted. The good thing about using a cream eye pencil like this is that it actually tends to look like your own skin and it also gives me an idea on the shape that my eyebrow is going to be after I have removed all of the excess hair. Um, by the way, I never remove any of my hairs from above. Um, I just leave, leave them be because I have noticed that if you remove all of your excess hair um, on the top part of your eyebrow, it's gonna look very, very stark and it's, it's just going to look very, very unnatural. But anyway, so back to this cream colored eye pencil. So I just fill in everything and when I step back and I see that it looks quite lifted and it still looks very natural and full, then um, I remove all of the hair that is located or that was covered by this cream um, pencil. I also make sure that when I am designing the shape of my eyebrows, um, I try to make it look as natural as possible and I use the natural shape of my eyebrows. So I know that my eyebrows, they tend to lift at the very edge here, which is actually very helpful for me because that would actually create like the illusion of helping my eyes look lifted. And when I'm happy with the shape of my eyebrow, I remove every single piece of stray hair from that part, which is covered by the cream um, eye pencil. Okay, so now that I have removed all of the excess hair that I don't want, so as you can see, it's still lifted. What I do now is I get a spoolie and I brush my hair downward. So as you can see here, these are my excess hair. And what I do is I actually trim those.
and then I brush them back up. And whatever hair that peeks through, I also cut them. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, that's it. Now, I always make sure that I trim my eyebrows because sometimes my eyebrows, they tend to really look very, very bushy and I don't want to have old man eyebrows. You know, just too much eyebrows going on in the face. So it's just nice to keep them neat like this. Now, um, usually on a daily basis, this is just it. I don't fill in um, my eyebrows. I don't do anything. The only time that I fill in my eyebrows and um, emphasize them is when I am going to be in front of the camera. Now for that, I use, depending on my mood, I use an eyebrow pencil or an eyebrow pen. So my philosophy with my eyebrows is that I just fill in the gaps. So what I do is I get a spoolie and I brush all of the hair down and then I get an eyebrow pencil and I just follow the growth of my hair. So our eyebrow hair grows downward so I just gently fill in the gaps with downward strokes. So as you can see, it's already giving me the initial shape. And what I do next is I just brush my eyebrow hair back into place. So at least with this, it still looks very, very natural, but it looks much more even and well filled. Now I tend to not overdo my eyebrow filling because um, it's just going to overemphasize everything and it's also going to make my eyes look smaller because if you look at my eyes um the distance between my eyes and my eyebrows is actually very very um small although i have so much of a forehead going on but i have no choice about that so i make sure that i don't um thicken my eyebrows too much because this is going to overcrowd my eyes and it's just going to make my eyes look very very heavy and very very close okay so this is how it looks like with a pencil now the other type of product that I like to use is an eyebrow pen and with the same philosophy I brush down all of my hair and I just fill in the gap now, I use an eyebrow pen when I am going to be doing anything that involves physical exertion. So maybe if I'm going to be walking around or if I'm going to go to the gym or I'm going to be shooting on location, things like that. So I use a long wearing pen like this. So with the same philosophy, I just, you know, fill in the gaps and I don't overdo it. And then I just brush everything back into place and so that's just basically it and if i want to set it i set it with um mascara now um i actually can get away with using black mascara because i have black hair but if um you are someone who has lighter hair um, try to use a light brown mascara if you want to do that or you know there are a lot of eyebrow products available in the market today so you can also use that. Oh, by the way, if you are using mascara for your eyebrows, make sure that you remove any excess um, product on a piece of tissue before you apply it on your eyebrows. Now, it really takes some confidence to use mascara for this, but you know, um, if you've been doing this for the longest time, it's going to be second nature. Now, one of the main questions that I get when people ask me about eyebrows is that what color should they choose? Now. For me, the best bet is that you should match the natural color of your hair. Now, um, one other thing also in terms of color, um, just make sure that the eyebrow color that you're using on yourself doesn't have too much red pigments in it because this is just going to look very unnatural, especially if you're not a natural redhead. And um, the thing is, if you're using um, eyebrow pencils or eyebrow products that are very, very um, red, it can tend to make you look angry so that's something that you should not aspire to look all the time um it's, a, it's not a nice look now what else can i say well as i said earlier in the video um your eyebrows is your own artistic expression and i think um how you want to wear your eyebrows will depend on um, how much patience you have how much time you have and um, how much you're willing uh, to spend on products just to uh, achieve that very perfect um, brow look that you want. 
So that's it for me today, guys. I hope that um, this video was helpful and insightful. And as you can see, I used only a few number of products to achieve well groom eyebrows. Now, if you have any more questions um, about this video or how I grew my brows and the products that I used, please leave them down in the comments box below and let's have a conversation about this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye-bye.